Hi, this is Matt Penn for Doug Penn's uh, Outboards. Uh, today we're going to reassemble a powerhead from a Nissan or also brand name Tahatsu 3.5 horsepower engine. Uh, it's also probably good instructions for the 2.5 horsepower engine. Now the reason I'm reassembling it is because I had to disassemble it because it was 100% seized. I had to find out where it was seized uh, get it uh, freely turning again and now I'm putting it back together. By putting it back together you can see how I took it apart. When I got this motor the power head was seized tighter than anything you can imagine. Nothing moved. All right, And the reason is is because it was run in salt water I believe and then put away without anything done to it for years or a long time. And what happens is every component rusts together. So the piston was rusted to the side right here. The crankshaft was rusted uh, at the ball bearings. The top one would move, but the bottom one is all rusty right here and was all corroded and stuck together. I eventually got it apart and rolling again, but every single component was all rusted together. So I'm going to put it to back together without the piston in it, but put it back together just to illustrate how I got it apart. First step is to put the crankshaft back in. Notice there's seals, top and bottom, that go in on top of the ball bearing. Also notice, it's very important, there's a little catch pin and the ball bearing that I believe has to ride on this little opening right there. Make sure they line up right there. Okay, I've put the front half of the power head back in like a sandwich. Okay, and notice uh, there's six screws. There's four here and two here that hold it. Flywheel was even rusted to the uh, parts in here. And uh, I'm just going to quick clean it up just a little bit. Alright, but this flywheel has a keyway right there that you have to match up with the keyway here like so. Okay, got the flywheel back on, the flywheel nut, and you can see that it all turns again. Now, you can hear it knocking because there's no piston in there. I kept the piston out, alright, but uh, at least it illustrates that it's free and not seized up. Bolts, one, two, three, again the whole thing turns. Uh, you can see there's no piston in there. You can see the piston rod going back and forth. And I'm going to put this unit assembly back on. This guides that uh, uh, has the drive shaft going up into it. Uh, it's got two bolts there. I put the six bolts back in that bolt this to the lower unit. So this is already to um, actually I'm going to put it on eBay because somebody will use, be able to use the parts off it, but as is, it would need uh, quite a bit to, to keep running. I'd probably uh, get a new piston and uh, definitely the, the seals or the bearings, tops and bottom. Uh, there'd have to be a new gasket bought here to reassemble it. All right, so how did I get this unseized or freely turning? Well, it was seized in three different places from the salt water and sitting. One, it was freeze, it was frozen or seized at the piston. So the piston was in there, and the side was frozen to the uh, cylinder. That's the first place. The second place, the flywheel was frozen uh, to the to the contact up here. All right, and the third place was in the ball bearings, top and bottom. Uh, more the bottom than the top. 
So three places it was seized. By taking these bolts apart, these bolts off, I was able to separate the halves. I was able to shoot oil into the ball bearings. And I was able to get the, um, the uh, crankshaft moving a little bit and separate this to about there. All right. Uh, the flywheel I successfully pulled off. Then I took a punch right here. This is your last resort, really. And I stuck it down in there, and I started banging on it with the ball peen hammer gently at first, and it was moving a little bit. I added more oil, moved it a little bit more, until eventually I was able to punch it all the way out through. And you can see the tap marks on top of there. That's why I'd probably... I don't know, I'd probably use a new piston. Uh, that could probably be fixed or maybe even ran, but uh, uh, definitely the uh, ball bearings would have to be replaced in this. I did get them turning, but it's just not, it's not advisable to use it that way, and uh, it um, you know, needs to be cleaned up still in order to be ever running again.